Hey everybody, this is Jubel here, and wow, it's a good thing that I did that pre-recording because I got sick really, really bad um, right after my last recording. Um, now that uh, cognition is released, I guess my body said, okay, you really exert overexerted yourself and now it's time for you to get sick, so yeah, it's a good thing I got sick now instead of uh, later. But. Now is time for um, a puzzle, and I didn't really know how I was going to deal with this because if I was to do the puzzle properly, um, it would take like an entire hour or something. Um, we, we, what what happens here is, and I think I showed this off in the last video. Um, you can see that there's part of a synergy image, and the actual other part that we need is behind here. And if we open this, um... And behind painting number two, we have... Yep, Max is safe, just like I saw in the vision. Uh, you see a safe, and hopefully these colors work out. This was actually an issue that showed up really, really quickly in the focus test. Um, people who were, well, there was at least one person who was colorblind and said, yeah, we probably shouldn't have colors li like that because, um, <laughs> so we changed things around. Um, some of these ch colors were changed. Hopefully they are visible to you all, but either way, what happens is, I mean, you you have to punch in some colored numbers, but, you know, what are they? <sighs> Still locked. What's the right code? And, um... This is a pretty involved one. Um, so I wrote the walkthrough for this, um, for the press, and it was like, uh, ten pages? And one page was completely devoted to this puzzle. It's really long. So I'm not gonna, I'm gonna explain it. And the way to, to do it is you, you start out um, here, actually. Because this is the combination for the safe. And the only way to get it is to figure out the order in which they suffered. And these are the people who were in the folders. So this means if you want to get this combination, you need to figure out what order um, these people suffered. Now, oops, um, let's go to the folders for a moment. Now I mentioned a while back that these signatures were also showing up on the paintings. Um, for example, I showed a long time ago the, in the living room, um, there was a white uh, winter scene with a red... with a red... Uh, sorry, signature. So this is your clue. The people who suffered you, um, you want to start uh, signifying, or so yes, yeah, signifying these people with these signatures. Now, for an example, I'm only going to show the one in Max's office. And by the way, um, Max's office, the, the the theme song that's being played right now is really one of my favorite themes in the game. Um, we're going to hear some remix of it pretty soon too. What I want to do is show off this one uh, that says CSS, because this one is also on this painting, signature CSS. Now, if you notice these uh, signatures, or and these, pa and these paintings, you notice that they have a predominant color. Um, for example, this is predominantly green. You also have predominant um, colors for the signatures. For example, this is white. So, how do you deal with this? Well, all of this, all of the paintings, like the the one for Davies, was in the living room and it's white. This one is green, and you're gonna find that they're all. 
Um, some of or some of them are orange. Some of them are red. And some of the signatures are white. Some of them are red. Some of them are orange. What you're going to end up finding out from this, and yes, this is going to take a little bit of a while. Um, first of all, you need to figure out what order they suffered. And if you were paying attention to the first two episodes, well, first three episodes, really, the hangman died first. He died before we even started the game. Um, he was the man hanging in the crime scene. And then at the end of the episode, Davies died, who would be the second person who suffered. Next would be Sullivan. Sully got mutilated. He was not killed, but he did suffer. So he would be your third victim. And then finally, you have the, uh, the wise monkey, who was dropped off the tower at the very end of episode 2 and beginning of episode 3, however you want to take it. So that is the order in which they suffered. And um, now would be the point where, and I don't really feel like doing it, you would be looking at all the paintings inside the towers in order to get the correct um, signatures and um, colors for the, each of these paintings. For example, this would be the fourth one because um, the wise monkey was linked to the uh, to this signature, so he would be the fourth one. So the fourth combination is going to be green, or it's going to be white. If you play it with the hold on, or let's get into the, the safe. You're going to have to take my word for this, because I'm not going to all the areas to do them for you. Um, they're there. So you would know that the green one is last, but uh, if you did do this puzzle and did find all of those paintings, you would find that the order is either by the signatures, which I believe is white, red, white, red? No, no, no. Red, white, red, white. Um, and if you did this, it would not work. So you would have to do the other way around, not the not the color of the signatures, but the color of the paintings. And if you do that in order, you would get red, white, orange, and green, which you should know the green one because we just saw it in this one in Max's office. And that will give us the yes, that was it. Proper code. All right, let's see what we've gotten here. So that is that is a very intense, uh, time-consuming puzzle to figure out. Let's see. It's an old document that's been partially burned and then laminated back together. Okay, not a lot to go on. It's got that name Jeff Therian on it, but the paper's too damaged. I can't read the finer details. There's a signature on it as well. Scarbles? No. Scorobius. Scorobius signed this. I'll just take a picture of this and send it to Terence. A lot of official documents are digitized now, so he should be able to run a search to see if it's on record and fully legible. Uh, I want to start naming him Scarbles. Scarbles is a much, much better name than Scorobius. Um, but now that we have that burned document, we, we have seen, or we have all that we need to know in order to uh, see whatever this memory was. So let us begin. You have to stop this insanity about telling Keith and Cordelia. Max, I've told you a thousand times why we have to do it like this. There are legalities involved, things that you are better off letting me handle. I've been reading about how you handled it. What have you been doing snooping around in my basement? Educating myself. I might not have understood why you used me to get Keith to sign all those documents over the years. <laughs> but I understand it now. 
My parents weren't trying to punish me. They didn't set up our inheritance to go through Jeff Therian. It was you. And there are people who wouldn't mind knowing about this. You know, people who bang gavels. Or maybe one of those FBI agents that were just here. Of course, because you can wash your hands of it. You've done what you must to take the money from Jeff down to the last penny you've spent. Yes, I told some lies and I broke some laws. I can own up to that. But Cordelia is asking questions and Keith is getting suspicious. Look at this. That was my mother's passed on to Cordelia, but Keith had it. They know something is wrong here and they're working together to find it out. I won't let you pull my family apart. I trusted you all these years, so now I'm going to ask you this and I'll ask it once. What is this? You would never understand. All you do is moan about how much money you need and need and need. Here's the difference between us, Max. I don't need you or your pesky little sister for anything. Of course you don't. God, Cordelia sensed something was wrong. Why didn't I listen? Jeff has all the money. You made sure of that. And if anything happens to him, the money doesn't go to me or Cordelia. If he dies, it goes right to you. Get out of my way. I'm calling those agents. I'll kill you before I let that happen. I'll... Uh, yeah, so it looks like um, the reason there is no such thing as a Jeff Therian is because this seems to be a made-up name by Scrobius. So all of the inheritance money is actually all belonging to Scrobius. Or so it would seem. Oh god! What was that? Is that going to happen? Is Scorobius going to hurt Max? Uh, so we're back in uh, Cordelia, and actually this is not just a vision we can leave. This is one that we actually have to uh, do some work in for a little while. So let's talk to Keith. Hey Keith, there are a couple things I wanted to say. Okay, what things? Keith, there's something I need to tell you. I didn't want to bring it up before, but something's going on. I've been having these visions. What are you talking about? Look, I didn't want to upset you, but I've been seeing visions where Max gets killed. At first I thought it was me who killed him, but something is going on between Max and Scorobius. I'm worried. And now I find out Scorobius has some kind of secret room in Max's office. Killed? Are you sure about this? Uh, I know you're good at predictions, but... Trust me, Keith. This is real. I know about the elevator. I had a work area in the basement until Max and I got into that fight. He said he'd need to rethink my privileges, and he changed the code. So, another person who, you know, Cordelia is just trying to get some results of by saying that, you know, she's seeing visions, but it doesn't seem like it's really working. I need to get into that room to find out what's going on. I don't know the code anymore, Cordelia. Believe me, I'd love to find out whatever it is that they're doing and drag it into the daylight. Is there any other way we can get down there? No, the elevator is the only way. But wait, I know. I have something here that can help us. When we're done here, I'll fill you in. Hey, I just wanted to say I'm sorry about what happened with those agents earlier. I didn't want to upset you, but I needed to help Max. Yeah, well, I guess I understand. But you can imagine how it feels to be in that position, right? To be taking a hit for him when he wouldn't take one for me? You shouldn't be so hard on him, but I do understand. And all I can do is say I'm sorry. We'll sort through this. Okay, if that's all, take a look at this. What is it? It's the rocket ship from the Ori that's upstairs. The thing with the planets. I outfitted it with a camera. I was going to use it to find out what Max has been hiding from us, but this is the perfect use for it. If you bring it down, we can use it to capture the code we need. I'll get the camera ready. 
Uh, so it looks like we'll be doing some uh, errands with Keith, so... Yeah, now that is actually, you know, I have, I'm not pre-recording. Um, I'm looking at some of the reviews and people are complaining about what's about to happen here. But I mean, this is the same company that, you know, <laughs> made me put a huge wooden king in my pants and nobody seemed to complain except me, so, <laughs> yeah. A little orrery. Well, maybe it, maybe it just feel. Ma sorry, maybe it just folds up. You don't know. <laughs> um, either way, we don't need to give this to Keith, we just need to go into Max's office. Okay, let's set this up on Max's desk. Hmm. There's really no good angle that ensures we'll see everything. We'll have to just hope for the best. So what you want to do is just drop this on the table. Because what we're trying to do is get a uh, spy and figure out what the code is by putting a camera on here and, uh, and checking on it. And here's the camera. Just put it on and it'll be ready to go. So let us do that. Okay, it's set up. Now we just need Scorobius to enter. Okay, and the best way to get Scorobius to enter is to call him. Let us begin. I'm going to call him up. What should I tell him? Sometimes Max has Scorobius pick up mail that he's left in the basement. Make him think you're one of Max's secretaries, asking him to do a pickup. Okay. Hello, Anthon Towers main office. Yes, hi. Mail delivery. I'm just letting you know some sensitive mail is being dropped off. Ah, oh, thank you. I've been waiting on this. Good day. Okay, done. We should go up to the loft and wait. Hey, this has been... I don't know... fun. What has? Making a plan, teaming up. Usually I just make things and move on, but we're actually putting them to use. I like this. I'm glad to hear it, Keith. Me too. That has to be him. God, I've been so wrapped up in projects, I've forgotten how fun this sort of thing is. Shh. Keith, keep it down. We're trying to be sneaky here. Oh, right. Hello? Anybody in there? No. I hope this works. What do we do now? Get the camera. You're able to plug it into the monitor on the desk. We can watch it there. A few days before release, uh, uh, Weldon, our, our technical uh, technical um, director, mentioned, you know, why or how would the the mailman be able to get into this secret entrance to deliver the mail? And there was no answer, um, which is clear, maybe a large problem, possibly, possibly. Scrubius got it, but he wanted to come down here to read it because it's so secret. I don't know. Stop asking me questions. Um, let's take the the rocket ship off of the model. Now, I don't think I've shown off this phone console because you don't really need to use it until now. How do I get this to turn on? Press the button. I did. I have to talk while you're holding it down. Press it again. See? It only turns on if it hears my voice or Max's voice. I'm going to put the orrery back upstairs. So it's a voice activated uh, gadget. And let's watch the video. It's not doing anything. Maybe if I attach the camera first? So that is what the camera is for. We need to uh, open up this USB and put the rocket ship in it. 
Okay, so it fits in right here. And unfortunately, it is corrupted. Okay, everything is back to the way it was. Great. We hardly saw anything. Yes, but those sounds. I think that... Yeah, that must be it. I got it. You both need to get out. Get away from the desk. Get out. I need time alone. I need time to think. But Max, Cordelia and I were just about to... Keith, I don't care. I'm serious. Get out. Now! Here's my own logic question. Where did he come from if he didn't come in from the door? Maybe he was just... Maybe there's something back here. Maybe this isn't the only door in. Um, if you wait 15 seconds, um, Max will complain... But will continue to complain. I'll even wait for that. Why are you still here? Go! So, you also can't talk to him. He'll just complain. <laughs> Asshole! Look, Keith, he's under a lot of pressure. Something's been up with him lately. W what's wrong with giving him some space? You know how he is. You're defending him? Something's going on, Cordelia, and you won't even acknowledge it! I'm not going to have this talk right now, Keith. Don't make me pick sides. Right. Because if you had to pick, we both know who you'd choose, don't we? Keith, no. I can't do this without you. I need that code. Erica, you might be my only hope at this point. So, we have no idea how to get the code, but maybe Erica in the future might be able to. So, we can try it out. We can put this model onto, or the spaceship onto the model, and okay, hopefully Erica, it'll still be there. I know you can see me. I just hope you'll help me. I really need some help right now. I don't know what to do anymore. I can't keep carrying this. But I can't tell anyone. I can tell you, Dad. But you'll probably just hate me for it. I'm, I'm sorry, Dad. I'm sorry. I feel like I'm failing. Just want you to talk to me again. Uh, so now we are back hey, as Erica. Terrence just sent me a message. Let's hope he's got good news. Oh, there's a ton of things to, to do right now. Let's start with the dossier. E, check it out. I couldn't do much with the document itself, but I managed to run a scan on the signature. It turns out we had a better match in the, da in the database. You'll understand it more, uh, better than I will. This Scorobius guy came forward with information on a Max Smith and got the FBI interested. All pretty standard. This, but then it gets interesting. I would not have found this um, if I hadn't been running an image search. This was super misfiled. The kind of misfiling you'd have to do on purpose. Erica McAdams was on charge of this one. So it looks like uh, McAdams completely misfiled a uh, the, the burned document. So it looks like he's really, really trying to bury, uh, bury something. Yeah, Burry, then. I'm <laughs> not even going to talk about Tales of Monkey Island 2 for a minute. Um, hey, I also uh, attached a file. Yeah, it's an, old, um, it's an old interview of Max Smith, the guy they were investigating. I thought it might be helpful, so I am, use, I am sending it your way. Um, you actually have it as an inventory item right now. I don't understand why you won't let this go! There's nothing going on here. I have no idea who set me up here, but I promise you, you are wasting your time. Now, if you don't... Now, this should be... 
pretty obvious what you need to do with it. it the phone console will only work with um, Max's or Keith's voice. So now that we have Max's voice, that helps. But we actually need to do this. This is something important that is easy to forget to do or miss. Because if it's not there, then where is it? What is this? What the hell? This is a camera. Boss man's gonna want to see this. This just happened earlier tonight. I can feel it. John, what the hell are you up to? Or actually, I'd forgotten to try to click and uh, take something from <sighs> the The camera's yeah. gone. Does she really think it would still be there after all this time? Yeah, so that would have prompted you to uh, use postcog, but we know that John has it. So that's one thing we need to do. And... Yeah, the next part we would need to do is, um... We have a pretty good idea that, uh, McAdams has that, uh, camera. Scrubius actually is gone, he's not here anymore, so may as well go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby, let's all go to the lobby, let's all go to the lobby and get ourselves a treat. This isn't much of a treat, this guy's an asshole. <laughs> Agent, I'd advise you to finish here and leave. Soon. Uh, okay, I could begin this now. I'm going to take a look around some more. You're walking a very thin line, Agent. Unfortunately, I don't remember when I started. But I should be able to finish this up. Um, I must have shown the lighter or else I wouldn't have been able to get that cover-up option. So, let, options, Agent, so let's go ahead and do this. I'd advise... Let's do this. Okay, here goes. Let's see if I can push him just a little bit over the edge. I found something interesting, Director. Maybe you can explain it to me? Now what? I found an old document upstairs. It seemed harmless enough, but I did some digging and found out that sure enough, this Jeftharian that nobody seems willing to talk about is mentioned. In an investigation you were heading up. Congratulations, Agent. You've discovered how to use the FBI database every agent in the office has access to. Interesting you'd say that because I actually had to have a handwriting analysis run on the documents because these records weren't in the database. They were deliberately misfiled. And at the bottom, detailing who filed the reports as lead investigator, none other than Samuel McAdams. Now correct me if I'm wrong, but burying a case in order to protect yourself? You'd better stop right there, Agent! And then you get control. Actually, here's something f I, I just remembered. Um, he doesn't talk anymore, but there were lines for this uh, particular sequence while uh, this is going on, and <laughs> clearly this isn't a real in real time. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> McAdams was saying stuff like, "Oh, I wish I had the lines," but it was something like, "You are so incompetent. You are go you are." going to fail and I can't wait to see you fail and I'm just happy to help you just completely get ruined and ruin your career. He doesn't say that anymore but um, I, I enjoyed those lines. Also, I'm not going to show up the hints but if there were a hint or th there is a hint it says like uh, what you need to do, but also, wow, I cannot believe you can text on your phone while you're like this. But anyway, <laughs> what you want to do is, um, since he's touching you, you can do regression. And none of these are interesting, but we do know, aha, the camera is in his pocket. Now we're getting somewhere. So next step would be to take it. 
very awkwardly and hope that no one's noticing that uh, <laughs> she's taking it from McAdams. Get off me! Get your damn hands off me! What the hell do you think you're doing? You've crossed the line, Agent. Leave this building now! And I'll see you in the morning. This isn't over. <laughs> so it looks like Erica is stealing evidence again. Though I guess, it, 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 to be fair, um, McAdam stole it first. Well, who knows? It could have been evidence. You know, he, he could have bagged it up as evidence later. But it doesn't matter because I have it now. So we're back to Erica being a criminal and stealing evidence under people's noses. Okay, I actually don't know how much time we've gone in, but actually this is a good place to stop because we're coming up to the end of the episode here and I'm actually have a pretty good idea of how I want to end this, so I don't want to continue. Um, but you know what I have to do. I need to put the camera in here and do some stuff, but we'll do that in the next episode. So I hope you enjoyed this, and I will see you in the next episode.